<laughs> we actually just got a very, very unique opportunity. Someone actually just invited us to a wedding here. So I didn't film it, but uh, we were just invited to a Pakistani, northern Pakistani wedding. So I think we're going to go. It's kind of a change of plans, but uh, I think it'll be good. And there's supposed to be some really good food there. It's wedding time. We were actually planning on going on a trek today, so we're all, like in hiking gear, but <laughs> it's okay. They've wanted us to come. They've invited us, so let's go to a, a Pakistani wedding. So we've arrived to the wedding location and uh, wow, they picked a really good one. There is some beautiful mountain views and no idea really what's gonna happen, but I've heard these uh, Pakistani weddings can get pretty crazy. And what we just saw was a room full of yak meat. So they boiled it yesterday and it's literally a whole room full that's gonna be used to prepare some of the dishes. And I think we're gonna go see what else they're cooking for tonight's dinner. <laughs> now they will, uh, uh, it's the butter. Oh, that's butter. Will, uh, already the hot water is here. They just will mix the butter here. Oh, okay. So it's just the water and butter? The water and butter. <laughs> okay. So they've got a little outdoor kitchen down here cooking on wood fire and they just mixed in a big thing of butter with some hot water and they've got a huge yak's head down here too. Big horns and uh, yeah, everyone's standing around hanging out. It's pretty exciting stuff. It's a yak. Yeah. Yak head. <laughs> wow. They want just follow me. Sure. Hey guys, today's video sponsor is Manta Sleep. So they have reinvented and made the world's best sleeping mask. And I'm gonna give you my honest review of this product. I've been sleeping with it for the last couple of weeks and I have noticed some serious changes in my life. My mood has been better. I've been getting incredible sleeps and it's so comfy. I was concerned about it kind of falling off or being uncomfortable when I'm laying down in bed because I sleep on my side, but it's actually all padded the whole way around. And then you get these little cups right here that are removable and you can change the size. I went with a large size and it's the perfect travel companion, especially for when you're on the plane. Having this thing on is literally as dark as it gets. It's like sensory deprivation and super comfy. I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera right now or not. You guys can get 10% off your Mantis Sleep sleeping mask with a coupon code Chopstick Travel. I highly recommend it. It's really changed the game. If you're sleeping in any kind of not ideal conditions, some light coming in, you work night shifts, uh, maybe you're just traveling on the bus and you want to get a couple hours of sleep, this thing is the way to go. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> So we are inside the family's home. We are sitting with probably, I don't know. 25, 30 people? Yeah, maybe 40 people right now. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of chatting with them and getting Waiting ready for the, for the, bride, and the bride and groom to come. Come and sit here. Okay, so now we're sitting down with uh, some of the family members and uh, we have some of the food. This one you call butt? Butt, but, but, yes. But. Okay, so it's basically just wheat that's been cooked in water and, and butter. Yeah, water and butter. Yeah, and it smells really strong of butter. You can smell the, the local butter. So I'll grab a spoon. Thank you. And this is the... Oh, and put extra... This is what? Apricot oil. Apricot oil. Oh, of course, yes. Okay, so butter, apricot oil, and wheat. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, it's warm. Mmm. Yum, it's good. It's like a, a pudding, but it tastes really buttery. Yeah. 
very, very strong of butter, and you can taste the oil. Yum. Try this. What, what do you call this one? Galmendi. 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 Oh. Just layer by layer, including this. Okay, so is there some, what is this, butter probably on this? Butter with the local cheese. With local cheese, oh, yeah. on the inside, okay. And uh, apricot oil. And apricot oil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can taste the cheese on the inside. Mm. And simple and good, yeah. Spicy. We do have a lot of. Uh, Grol? Grol. 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 Okay. And it is like a, almost like a pancake? Like a, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, it's pancake. Okay. okay. So this is gyaling. It's just called grill in their language. Okay. Grill. It's a different yeah. language so it's here. It's the same thing we it's had the same uh, for breakfast this morning. Yeah. 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 Okay. <coughs> so you just eat it by itself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? And, and you put some apricot oil. Okay. Like dip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dip. Dip. Okay. Dip. Dip. Yeah. Yeah. okay. <laughs> mm. That apricot oil is so good. We're eating a lot of it here. I love it. It's got such a nice flavor. So outside they're they're cooking yeah, they're with cooking. the old butter. Old yeah. butter yeah. And they're making a similar dish to this, but they're yeah. using an yeah. aged butter. Aged butter. The taste will be a bit four year, four years old. Three yeah. years, four years, two years. Four years. And that's what we saw them pouring oh. into and the water very outside. Strong. We're gonna go see the rest of the cooking. We just finished having a little snack with everyone, meeting everyone. It's quite the experience. Yeah. <laughs> This <laughs> <laughs> So we've just came back to the outdoor kitchen set up here and this is where they're cooking that dish that we just tasted the butt but they're doing it a little bit differently here and the process is really slow and unique so he has a low flame underneath wood flame and there's one guy who's grabbing handfuls of flour and putting little by little in while another guy slowly churns it and it's gonna make it into this nice uh, texture that we saw inside, but uh, you can't just pour it all in at once or it won't turn out the right way, so it's gonna take them at least an hour to do this and they're doing it in such a massive pot. <laughs> So they're actually making two massive pots of this butt and this right here is that aged cheese which they actually bury underneath the ground and age it for many years and it has a strong strong smell. So he's just heating it up now because it's cold out and it's kind of solidified. So now they have two men stirring that pot of butt and they're adding the flour a lot faster now and it's really starting to change the consistency and thicken up and we're going to be eating it 
I guess, with the yak meat that has been boiled just on top, and that's the meal, and eat it with probably some chapatis. And we're waiting right now for the bride and groom to arrive. Apparently, they're about an hour away. But to tell you the truth, I have no idea. I am totally lost. We are just going with the flow and enjoying it. This was not on the itinerary today at all, but uh, no complaints because I'm loving it. But it's not the mystery that you did. Bas ayo tragoy. Anjir. Gatiu asaru. <laughs> so a lot of guests are arriving there was already probably 70 or 80 people here and supposedly there's another 70 80 people coming so there's going to be well over 150 people here and uh, you can see the women are arriving they're bringing gifts they're bringing food they're Pretty much all from this village, but uh, also the extended family coming from all over Pakistan. So we're back inside, uh, still waiting for the bride and groom to arrive. We're warming up with a cup of chai and I'm sitting with the, the grandmother here of the groom. And uh, she's just offered us some, some bread here, I guess. It's just like a fried bread, it looks like. Maybe a, dip it in the jar? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's quite the experience. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. crunchy. Super crunchy. So we've been sitting with everybody just enjoying tea and chit-chatting and I just think this is such an amazing example of Pakistani hospitality. They have no idea who we are. We come from very different countries and they invite us in and share some tea and snacks. It's really incredible. Okay, there's gotta be 200 people here at least and the bride and groom have just arrived. It's starting to get pretty crazy, so let's go. Look at this. What just happened? The bride and groom just arrived and everybody was greeting them with different gifts and flowers and hugs and kisses and yeah, <laughs> how many people? 300, 400 people here just greeting them. It was absolutely their, crazy. Their outfits. their outfits were gorgeous, all red and gold and the bride looks absolutely stunning. And the groom is carrying a sword. Yeah, he is and his head's all wrapped up and yeah, the traditional clothing is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we just came into the house and the, the groom and the bride entered the house and they were given uh, an offering of some, some bread and some milk and they just tasted the milk quickly, it's tradition. And uh, now I guess we're on with more traditions. So after a good uh, hour and a half at least of dancing, now it's time for the groom to go out and uh, do a dance. There's been a lot of music, a lot of dancing. Okay, the groom has danced and now the next step is to eat. So they're bringing in big buckets full of that uh, butt that we cooked up earlier. And uh, yeah, I guess it's time to taste it. And what an experience tonight has been already. I mean, the food is nothing compared to what we just experienced. So the dining room is absolute madness. There's gonna be at least 40 people sitting around circles and they're bringing out uh, the different dishes on these big platters. So you've got the big chunks of yak meat, the uh, butt, and then there's a separate dining room for the bride and groom. And we've come to our own little room and <laughs> they've just brought us some food. You dip the roti in this, mm -hmm. yeah. you eat that separately, okay. and this is boiled yak. Yes. You pick it up and just eat yes. it. Just okay, eat. just yeah. plain. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we try the butt first? But, yes. But. Yeah, butt first. Okay. But. You can just take from here okay. a piece of bread, like this. This one. Yep. And just... Dip it? Dip it in this one. All right. Mm. Dip it in. Mm. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That was good. Really thick, simple, some buttery. Wash it down with some yak meat. Yes, yeah. Bottoms up. Mm. Yeah. Out here in the mountains, they're eating hearty food. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. It is super, like, gooey and uh, you can smell that aged butter that they put into it. You can taste it too. It's strong. It's got a potent butter flavor. But other than that, it's kind of flavorless. It's almost like blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. like a strong cheese. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right guys, that's it for today's episode. What an incredible day. 
total change of plans, but no complaints. It was incredible. And if you guys want to have similar experiences, amazing experiences here in Pakistan, definitely check out Manaki, Manaki.com. You can get all their information down in the description box. Hello. 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 <laughs> Today was an incredible day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when we post our next episode and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.